hi everyone and uh, welcome back welcome to my playlist where i'm talking about uh, nextjs miscellaneous topics okay like nextjs integration with redis elastic search and all the managed services from aws and azure also so let's talk about in this video is how we can upload a file so it contains like a lot of segments like uh, first of all uploading image uploading a file it can be image any binary file then second thing is processing it processing it by uploading it to either s3 and azure and i don't have s3 and azure so i will be just uploading this to the server right all these possibilities are there first we need to understand how we can upload a file okay how we can create a route which takes the binary data and we should be able to upload that is the first thing once that is uploaded you can do two things without even uploading that to the server you can directly process the stream or process the buffer and you can use it by reading the for reading the data and processing the data or you can actually write it to azure and s3 or sometimes there is a requirement okay we need to upload the file to some folder on the server in that case we have to use this butler module uh, which is provided by a third party and we uh, nsjs has a good integration with the butler module okay so let, let's talk about this i have already written uh, blogs on this how you can actually use nsjs to upload a file okay let's say there are two approaches we are we have decided first one is when you want to upload a file to the server right in that case what you need to do is you need to install a mutler okay so we have to use this mutler module which is coming from nextjs express so we will register it first in the domain module this module is only required when you want to upload a file on the server okay that is a primary thing and here in the domain module you can say okay i want to uh, i want to use and i want to upload this into a particular file folder right so here we are saying is i want to use this multer module and whenever the file is getting uploaded i will be storing that file in this files folder on the server okay so it means i don't want to process it i want to first upload it then maybe some another service is going to come check the files in the dot uh, in the check the files uploaded in the files folder and we will process it okay now coming to our controller and it's really going to be easy not as complex as we see in the express right we have to do lot of configurations and all not like that because nestjs in background is using the same mutler to help us while uploading the files okay so what we need to do is here we will be writing our controller let's say post and here i have done the post upload this is the route and here i'm saying is upload file upload file is my module okay and then i just need to use the inbuilt interceptor use interceptor okay and in the interceptors i will be passing uh, my interceptor which is a file interceptor file interceptor okay this is provided by nextjs only and here i'm saying is i will be passing the file with the image attribute in the request payload okay once you are done you will be getting you will be getting the file in the upload file okay like re for request we use request response params uh, body and all similarly there is upload file and here let's import this it is complaining and this file should be of type i think uh, express.mutler let's say let me just see uh let's keep it any for now but this file has all the different things we need like you can 
once the file is uploaded you can do a lot of things right you can actually say okay this is the file i will just get the stream of that file and will process it to somewhere else right so this is a file object you will get the all the parameters for the file and now that file is also uploaded in your files directory so you can process it right so here we are using upload file decorator the file interceptor takes two argument one is a file name right so if we just look at to this file interceptor it takes two argument one is a file interceptor and file name and the local options local options are nothing but the mutler options mutler options where you can specify uh, the file type path the size of the file if you see the this mutler options here you can see the destinations the storage the limits right all these options you can specify in the file in the file interceptor first argument is the image the the destination where you wanted to upload the file all these things so currently we are using with the multer right so i mean if you want to modify this then there are a lot of things you can add in the interceptor so if i little bit modify this i can so first first thing is you specify the file name oh it is complaining file interceptor disk, disk storage all these things we are going to get from and this is the custom function we are going to build like filter are you uploading the correct file name correct file type or not okay so we are saying uh, use inter file interceptor okay let's see what is the problem here disk storage this we are going to get from uh multer edit file name okay so there are two filters i am using here if you see the code so first of all i am passing lot of uh, additional arguments right in these arguments i am doing two things uh, let me just check this out one dot three this should be passed part of this object only now in the disk storage disk storage i think we can get from the multer express and this edit file name and image file filter so what do you want like like when you are uploading a file you wanted to edit a file name right you wanted to give a random file name once the file is uploaded with some uuid or something then we can write a helper method and image file filter this is a validation criteria okay that i don't want to allow you to upload any random file i want to allow you to only upload jpg only image files let's say okay otherwise this will throw an exception this interceptor will throw an exception so we can write those helper methods uh, in our util i actually have it in the template so i will just say file helper dot ts i have these two methods edit file name and image file filter this request is any I just type any and call by case of type function. Okay. Yeah, something like this. So what it is doing, if you just see, even do we need edit file name? No. Whatever the file name is coming, we are fine with that. So just remove this. We just need a image file filter criteria. It's like a validation. Okay. And the file name, whatever the file name we are getting, we are passing it. Okay. And this image file filter we can get from this particular file, which is validating okay, you are passing the image or not. Okay. Disk storage we can get from I think Mutler. Mutler, okay, we'll get it. So this is how we are actually able to upload a file to a particular directory. Right? Similarly, you can also upload a multiple files okay in multiple files the only thing is it will become upload files if we just see is if you want to upload a multiple files together you will you will see this demo uh, also like here let me move this down 
so here I have upload files so this will become upload files okay and we got the files object right so this is an array upload files we have to import okay and uh, the disk storage all the files the folder and all image filter is the same right here we are actually saying is multiple upload so what all we have changed file interceptor is still there right and we are saying that we are using image file filter this is the multiple upload so what we are saying is uh, if the files are multiple here this is code this code was written for single file for multiple we will be running a loop onto the files array right this is the files array so we are running a loop onto this files array and just getting the original file name and all these properties from the file you can just use map instead of this blah blah because what we are doing is file response dot post so we can run a map okay you don't need to assign it to a variable uh, we are just returning the response the response was initially empty so type strip for now i'll just put any okay so this is how we are actually uploading multiple files these, these things you need when you want to upload a file to the particular directory on the server okay but most of the time like whenever you are uploading what you do is if the file is uploaded uploaded to s3 or IG or that's it okay we don't maintain the files on the server side and it's also not advised so what we do is here this file object this file object we will get the buffer from the file object and upload it to s3 we will convert this file into a stream upload it to azure this is what we really do right or if we are getting up a csv we get the file at the runtime without even uploading without using this multer in the uh, domain module definition we just get the file read the file and process it on the fly okay so that we will see that this is the second part this is the standard first part is how you use uh, this file upload mechanism to upload a file to a particular directory so here i mean our task is done we upload a file and that file is stored in this files particular directory we are done now either you can actually process them because file is now uploaded you can process on the fly or you can process later in the background because file has been uploaded you got the data which is not going anywhere so part two is without uploading a file how to process that we will also see as a demo okay uh, thanks everyone